Today, folks, we're back here in Knoxville. It's hard to believe, but it's going to be 88 degrees today. It's starting to feel like summer. And we just started with spring. Of course, today is the day we go pick up our, our new glasses are here. We've got a phone call, and they're like, guys, come pick them up. So we're going to head on in. Going to get them all fitted, make sure they're, they look good, make sure they did everything right. Hopefully, I'll be able to see. Because sometimes when you get new glasses, you it's kind of blurry for a while, right? Mm -hmm. I guess that's normal. They say it's normal. But we're going to do that. And then while we're here in Knoxville, we're going to enjoy this beautiful summer day in the spring. Dawn, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do this. back here in Knoxville and we're gonna go pick up our our glasses I'm super excited uh, new glasses after about two and a half years getting those glasses huh <laughs> so Dawn has got her new glasses but you'll see I have my my old ones because they're not in as of yet they're they're being shipped today so I think they jumped the gun Dawn's were in but mine weren't so we're gonna come back in a few hours, they said, come back around two o'clock and I'll have new glasses, but you guys can see. You got, that's one of- I kind of feel short right now because they're a little bit blurry. A little, a little blurry. I have, my eyes have to adjust to them. You know, you might be better just wear your old ones right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm gonna put the old ones back on. Because I think if you put them on first thing in the morning, then you'll be okay, right? Mm -hmm. These are the one pair I got. Yeah, those ones there. They got like a little bit of black and then some red on them. I like them. It's going to take me a little bit to adjust. I'm not used to them yet, so I'll probably just put them on in the morning. Well, I noticed the last time I got glasses, it ate. And this is the carrying case that came in. <laughs> they were blurry, but I just decided, wait till the next morning, put them on. And then it didn't even bother me after that, so. And we got two pair and a pair of sunglasses. Now, the, the case they gave you are, are super cheap. Look They're, at that. like, scratchy in my hands. I don't like oh. the material feel. But I got some older cases I found. Of mine that I can swap them out for. And these are my other second pair. I like those ones too. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm I good with the round. And it, it was a toss up between these or the blue ones. I thought, you know, I, I should have got the blue ones because they have more color to them now, too, like the red. But I like these too. So. We did get the anti scratch, the anti glare. Um, I had to get it because I noticed when I drive at night it's it's really bad like everything's blurry you know and and so is that what them seeing is anti-glare you're probably seeing it. you'll see it mostly like at night or yeah and then you got a special you got some sunglasses too i told well next time we get glasses i want a pair of sunglasses but the thing is that these glasses are your one of your favorite things you like uh, most mm -hmm. in this world they're, look how clunkety that is it's but that, huge. they're vera bradley yeah they're vera bradley sunglasses yeah. And it comes with a special carrying case and their sunglasses. They got, you know, I, I told them that I had a professional pair of sunglasses like years and years and years ago. And they're raving. I loved them. But I didn't get to wear them that much. Well, you live in the South. Mm -hmm. Now, when you live now like... we live in the South. And I told them I really want a pair of professional sunglasses. The next pair of glasses we get, one of them is going to be sunglasses. Yeah, because so. the sun's very powerful here, especially and like, in Tennessee. Why do you need two pair of glasses, Dawn? Or you could just got a pair of glasses and sunglasses. You always got to have a backup. If something happens, you can put another pair on. So that's why we get two. Yeah, we got two. But we travel. And yeah. you want to pack one, you know what I mean? Because you never know. You break it and just, you know, or leave it in your car or wherever. But, you know. So cool. what do you think of my sunglasses? <laughs> I like them. I like them. I'm excited to see mine, but I'm a little bummed because they said our glasses are ready. And, of course, hers were, but not mine. Hopefully yours is on the truck today. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. But she did say there might be a small chance that they might not be here. So then I have to oh drive boy. all the way back over in a couple days to Knoxville. I should have called. That's what I should have. I should have called and said, hey, you is bull. But, anyways. <clears throat> I'm just looking at them. They're cool. So they got a little bit of the, the yeah. Vera Bradley uh, signature squirrelies, I call them. <laughs> So we're in Knoxville. I think what we need to do is we're going to eventually get lunch, right? Seeing that mm -hmm. we woke up and we've been running this morning and then we haven't had breakfast. 
So we'll probably have lunch. And I think I know a place that we can go have lunch at. I think it'll be really good. Um, and then, I don't know. We're going to find what else we can do in Knoxville here. <laughs> I'm trying to look at him on the camera. We're over here at West Town Mall. And this is the new local borough location. So you know the one in Gatlinburg. The one that Dawn and I love. Well, they have one over here in Knoxville also. Yeah, right here at West Town Mall. They have, the, they have the local borough, and they also have a cheesecake factory just over that way. So, yeah, take a look on the inside here. I like the, the lights. They look like, uh, they have dingle balls, Dawn. <laughs> and they even have a mechanical donkey like the other one. You see that? Yeah, they have the mechanical donkey over there. Wow, I do like the, I like the, at, yeah, I like the atmosphere in here. It's really, really cool. I don't know if we're going to have this for lunch because we had the one in Gatlinburg many of times and it's going to be the same. So, but, but if you're over here in Knoxville and you want the, the local borough, yeah, this is where you can get it. Yeah, pretty cool. You also have an upstairs too. I think they also have a rooftop bar. I noticed on the roof too. Yeah. I like this Mazda. We had one in Las Vegas as a rental. And it was a nice nice little car. It was really good on gas. And it was all-wheel drive. It was peppy. It was like turbocharged. And they want $35,000. Oh, so this store here is called Bliss. Oh, it looks very Easter. Doesn't it? Little crazy bunnies. They also have a Build-A-Bear workshop too. Oh, you can build a Mario bear or a Bowser. <laughs> well, that's cool. They got a really cool little store called Box Lunch. Yeah, living the dream. So they have a lot of Disney, a lot of pop culture type things in here. That's a cool, cool Hawaiian. It looks like it would fit you. Yeah, Disney. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Oh, that's a cool shirt, especially with the, the sleeves. That's a lot of fun, too. Uh, I think it's, um, I don't know, I think it's Japanese, chainsaw. right? <laughs> it's a chainsaw dude, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not into, like, the new anime. I stopped watching anime, like, a long time ago, but it's supposed to be the, new, the newer stuff. There's a nice little air freshener. Oh, you got the Spy Family. Oh, a little bit of everything in here. Little figurines and... Oh, I got five nights at, at Freddy's, Dawn. <laughs> My sister would love this tea. You know that? She's in... She loves Kirby. Sierra would like that, wouldn't she? Kind of a hoodie, right? Yeah. Uh, $60. Look, look at That's a fireball from Mario. That, like. that is cool. I like that Spirit Away t-shirt. So Dawn got some treats back there at Box Lunch. Box Lunch, yes. I want to say Lunchbox, but... So these are the new new Cadillacs. Yeah, pretty sharp. Pretty much every space in this mall is occupied. It's not dead at all. It's, it's pretty vibrant. Uh, there's American Eagle over there. Oh, a crazy little guy. Oh my goodness, Dawn. They have one of those places where the fishies eat the dead skin off your feet. <laughs> Dawn, you want to get the, the fishies to eat the dead skin off your feet? I didn't know I had any dead skin. <laughs> we saw this in, in Nashville, remember? They're changing the water in the fishy tanks. So she couldn't get her, her feet, feet done. Yeah, with the fishies. Which is kind of weird. It'd be weird. I don't know. But they're cleaning the tank, so I understand it. It's gotta be yeah. clean, so. I don't blame him there. It's been a long time since I've been in a Hot Topic. Yeah, I got some Dragon Ball Z. They also have these Shrek <laughs> uh, swimming trunks. Those are, those are cool also. <laughs> oh no, what happened to the, the Mona Lisa? <laughs> All kinds of really cool punk type tees. Uh, even these uh, crazy pants. That could be a good new look for me. With all the zippers and, and the chain and all that. 
I like that misfit shirt with that Hawaiian. Uh, pretty cool. Good look. So you you said these brought back memories, these are huh? Old school, yeah. That's an old school strawberry shortcake, and that's our cat custard. Yeah. Super cute. Old Super Mario. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty cool. There was a time I used to shop at Hot Topic. I used to have a a punky look at one time, a long time ago. You know, I used to listen like ACDC and you know and. Oh boy, if there's a Vera Bradley, Dawn's probably going in it. There, there goes Dawn. I got a Disney Vera Bradley Snow White. You see that? So they have a whole collection of Disney. I think Vera Bradley always has Disney collection, don't they? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you can see the, the rabbit right there. Yeah. Oh, he's cute. Dawn's in her element. Dawn's looking at more more luggage. <laughs> no, I'm just comparing what I have to what's coming out. So Dawn is plotting her next buy at Vera Bradley. You well, I wanted to show him size difference between the hard shell suitcases that go under the seat of the plane to the carry-on. There's not there's like four inches difference. You're better off with the carry-on. That's my personal opinion. Yeah, the Easter Bunny's over there, and everybody's getting their photos taken with them. I didn't think Radio Shack was around still. Yeah, they got one here in the mall. Yeah, so they have one of those fancy milkshake places. This one's called the Famous Milkshake Bar. And you can see they have all kinds of interesting ones. These fancy milkshake places are becoming more and more popular, and you'll be able to find them in more places. I got one of those crazy cotton candy machines here. Now we did one of these in Nashville, but it, they got one here in, in Knoxville. That's really cool to see that. The kids yeah. like stuff like that. Yeah, that, that's fun. Even adults like They got a really good food court here. And we've eaten here many of times. They got a Chick-fil-A, Taco Bell. And uh, we got some, some, some Japanese goodies for our live stream. You know, like just some weird food candy, right? Something to try, something different. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go. We got a couple more hours. We're gonna get some lunch somewhere. Uh, we were really debating, we were really debating on the local borough for lunch. Yeah, it smells good. But, and it does smell good. But we've had it so many times. We wanna try something new. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have lunch at the Chicken Salad Chick. We've heard so much about this place. And I think we did try something once from them. It was like a catering thing, remember? But we're gonna go in and we're gonna see what it's about. It's it's extremely busy. I don't know if there's even a place to sit down, to be I honest with so. you. Look at the drive-thru. I mean, yeah. They have Coca-Cola, they have sweet tea, unsweet tea and their, their lemonade. I wanna try some of this strawberry lemonade. Looks good. You can see it all moving around in there. Oh wow, this looks really good actually. That's our first time at the chicken salad chick. So many folks have suggested this for us simple concept superb excellence and i got the strawberry lemonade take a look at this wow so this is my pimento cheese blt i got a side of chicken salad um i have a little little cookie over here for dessert and i think there's a pickle down in there and then over here is Dawn's, and she ordered the uh, BLT with the chicken salad in it. She's got some um, pasta salad, a pickle over there, a Looks cookie. Like a cookie. Yeah, you get like cookie for dessert, and right? Pickle. Yeah. yeah, that's over there. And then here's your soup. And then I also ordered some soup. I wanted to try it out to see what it's about, but this is what we're we're dealing with today. I'm gonna oh. get in my sandwich. Oh wow! So what does it look? 
So that's the chicken salad, right? Mm -hmm. Then you have bacon, lettuce, tomato. Oh, you just lost your your bacon down in there. <laughs> we'll go ahead and I guess try it out, right? Pimento cheese. Pimento cheese. It's got bacon. It's got that looks good. Cheese. Yeah, it looks good. It's toasted. Let's try this out. Really good. Um, you know, if you're in the South, they're about pimento cheese mm -hmm. here in the South. And this is really good. Of course, they're going to do it right. It looks um, good. It, it is. It is. Is it creamy? Uh, it is. I'm going to give you a bite. Okay. Yeah. So Dawn's got my pimento cheese. What do you think? Oh yeah, you can taste the pimento in there. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's got a spicy kick to it, but it tastes good, it's tasty. Yeah. This here is their potato soup, and it looks really good, it smells. You can definitely um, smell the bacon in it. And um, it's homemade for sure. Everything here has gotta be homemade. Try that pasta salad so out. That pasta salad's got um, multicolored noodles, I think it's spinach, tomato, and regular. It looks like it's got black olives in it. Pasta salad going in, right? <laughs> mm. It's good, huh? Yeah, it has a blueberry taste to it, but it's really good. It's you know, spicy. Um, everything here has been really, really good. Um, you know, very, like, you know, like, very good. <laughs> it tastes good, too. Yeah, it's very creamy. Um, it's got chicken throughout. I mean, it's like pretty much all chicken, shredded. Um, super creamy. The chicken salad chick. chick. What a name, right? It's a cute little ke catchy name. It is. Of course, they're known for their chicken salad. And there's a whole story in there about how they got their name. I, I don't know if it started like in a school or something. I didn't get really a chance. The place was busy. I was trying to read it. And people were coming in and out and standing. So, I, But I'll have to. Anyways, it's really busy in there. And uh, the, it was good. I the like chicken it. Chicken salad is good. Yes, it's different. It is different, but it was good. Um, yeah, so I was kind of looking at the menu board for like a good ten minutes, going, "What do I want? How do I do this?" <laughs> I'm glad I got the chicken salad uh, BLT. It was super creamy. I like how they toasted the um, bread. It wasn't oh, like over toasted or it was just toasted perfect. And I like, you know, they put the bacon and tomatoes on it. That was just perfect. It was just perfect all the way through it. Yeah, you know, and I had the, the pimento cheese, really good. <laughs> uh, had, you know, the, it, sometimes you get pimento cheese, it's just, it doesn't, I don't know. You can really taste the pimento in it, <laughs> is really what I'm trying to say. And it was really good all the way through. Uh, pickle's always a nice touch, you know, like, I like that. Uh, the, their potato, bacon potato soup, their loaded baked potato, I think it's called bacon. Anyways, their soup is really, really good. I like that. And then um, I got some of their chicken, their famous chicken salad. That was really good. Now you can get that in a sandwich. You can get that in. I had it in the sandwich. Oh, mm, my BLT. Yeah, it cost around thirty dollars for two think, people. Three dollars. I mean, Drinks see. are not included, oh. so you had to pay separate. I think. Yeah, I got a receipt here. Sure. But if you get a combo, and we did get a combo, you get the sandwich, and you get your choice of bread, yeah. and then you get um, a cup of soup, a side. Or I can't remember what the other side was, but I got I just got the pasta salad. It was really good, vinegary. It had three different colored shells in there, pasta, and it, I had black olives, and it tasted vinegary, but it was good. And that's our receipt. So it was thirty ninety seven. Um, I'm gonna take these off to look. <laughs> Don's chicken salad BLT was ten bucks. Um, we the drinks were two nineteen. That is actually reasonable for the drinks because mm -hmm. everywhere else these days it's three and four dollars a person so that that there is good and it was ten dollars for mine so we must have got two combos mm -hmm. and then i and then the, the potato soup was four bucks alone um but, but yeah he wanted to try it and he likes potato soup well, i like potato soup i want to try it because you know like soup and sandwiches go together right now i tried so. to bite of his original pimento cheese sandwich and that was spicy. Can you imagine what the spicy, spicy would taste like? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It was yeah. just as original. Anyways, yeah. Good lunch. Um, it was good. Yeah. I'd highly recommend it. Very busy. Of course, I can it's see the reason why. It's got some good food. I can see why. So, I know these are a chain. I know they're, um, I, I've seen them in, of course, there's a couple in Knoxville. 
And then I believe I've seen them in other areas. Like I've seen them in an airport somewhere. I don't know if it was mm -hmm. over North Carolina. Anyways, they're around. Like I think they were over North Carolina. They're 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 out there. Maybe not in all areas. But, it was a good little lunch. But they're out and it was there. reasonably priced. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. We went back and they had my glasses. These are my sunglasses. Mm -hmm. They look good on you, Ray Van. I used to have a pair thirty years ago. <laughs> yeah, I guess I do. I like them. I've never had a prescription pair of sunglasses before. You need them down here, though. Yeah, the sun. Yeah. The sun is but, so hot. It looks like a sharp-dressed man now with them. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the uh, the sunglasses. And, of course, I got a little bag with some other goodies in there. And they come with the, uh, you know. The Ray-Ban sunglasses case. And these, these here are my black pair. I guess they're okay. Good, yeah. good. Got a little little pouch to put them in, right? And these are the the blue pair. <laughs> so this this pair here has got a little chip in the frame, and she said that she ordered me another frame. She's come back in about a week's time or so, or, or when, you know they'll let me know. And but she said you can use those ones in the meantime. Use them I've always went with like smaller lenses, but this time I went with the great big glasses because <laughs> I'm having a hard time seeing like, like you know, I'm always seeing the frame in my vision. So I got bigger lenses this time so I don't see the frame as much. Um, might look like a dork, but <laughs> I think the Ray-Bans don't make me look like a dork too much, right? So I might look dorky in my regular glasses, but not, not the Ray-Bans at all. I want the big clod hopping round ones and these ones. I was looking at a blue pair and I thought, I don't know. Maybe next time I'll get some blue pairs and a couple more years. So. Well, you can get, like, you can still go there and order. Yeah. You, you got to, you know, if you see something you want. So these Ray-Bans right here, uh, they kind of are, kind of got like a, like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a it's rubber. It's a nice touch. It's a it. rubbery, like, yeah, yeah like touch. Um, very good. They're not like black, black. They're kind of like a, a little bit on the gray side. But yeah, they're nice. I think so. I think we're gonna like. I'm gonna like this. Um, I know it's gonna be great for like keeping the sun out of my eye, especially like when we're vlogging. It, it always. Help. It. I mean, I, you guys probably watch. You know, for you guys been watching our videos for years, you always see us squinting, especially when the Do sun's this. real powerful. You know, we're always this at. Way the hands. You know, we're always going to like Bigfoot festivals and fairs and. You know, and, and stuff like that. So, you know, the sun's always beating down. And I think these sunglasses are going to be pretty cool. And Dawn got a pair. And we got some new glasses. And my prescription, I'm start. I'm already starting to get used to mm -hmm. my prescription, my new prescription. Um, but I think they said that wasn't too far off from my last one. So now we're here at Fort Dickerson, a Civil War earthen fort from 1863. And we have been here before. I can't recall if we ever made a video here. I think we did or we had, we, we showed it in a video in the past. But I wanted to come back up here again because we've been we've been doing a lot of history in the area lately. And, and I, I wanted to come back to Fort Dickerson. Uh, one of 16 Union Army earthen forts and battery positions protecting Knoxville from 1863 through May of 1865, and it was named after Captain Jonathan C. Dickerson, the 112th Illinois Mounted Infantry, who was killed near Cleveland, Tennessee, on September the 18th of 1863. On top of this hill once stood Fort Dickerson. This was the defense position of the Union during the Civil War. And we've been doing a lot of Civil War history on our channel lately. In fact, we've been following General Longstreet. You know, he was over in Morristown, Greenville, all the battles, the Battle of Bean Station, where the Confederates took a big hit. That church with the cannonball, remember? Well, those guys were trying to make it here. They wanted to take the Union out because they wanted to gain control. They wanted Knoxville, and Knoxville is just down over there. We'll go over there and check that out in a minute. 
but they wanted Knoxville. They wanted the jewel. They wanted, you know, they wanted to take control. The prize. The prize. And that's where we're at. There's not much of the fort. I think there's maybe a few little pieces up there. It was pretty much an earth fort, but it was the highest point. They can look over the area, see the Confederates coming, and then, you know, deal with them. But, and at many of times from what I was always told, this, this fort was surrounded. There was Confederates coming in from the north, you know, from the east, west. You know, they were coming in from all over. And, uh, but this is this was the stronghold. They're beautiful. Everything is starting to pop here. It's definitely springtime, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what they are. The bees love them. Of course, Knoxville Airport's not too far away. I can hear the the airplanes. But let's let's go to the top here. It's a beautiful day. Of course, I'm wearing my new sunglasses. I'm getting used to my prescriptions on them. <laughs> It'll take a couple days to get used to, but I'll tell you what, the sun's right in my face. And I can see. I can see. I can see. <laughs> Oh wow, there's a there's a cannon up here. I didn't know they had a. We have to go this way and around. No, we'll go that way. So you can see where the fort once stood. That would have been the interior of the fort, and these would have been the the outer walls, or you know. In fact, there's markers on the ground. Yeah, they call this the the dry ditch. So this is where the dry ditch would have been. And this would have been like the outer wall of the fort. And then the cannon, you can see there's a cannon up there. Yeah. And then Knoxville is just down there. It's a windy day. It's 88 degrees. It was showing 90 in, in the Jeep. So these cannons must be new because the last time we were up here, they didn't have them. But I like that they added them because it gives you the effect of what the fort looked like. And these were the, these were the gun positions. And this here would have been the, you know, the, the wall of the fort or the earth because it was an earth fort, right? So it was made out of dirt. They pushed all the dirt up. And up here you had views all around the whole city, all 360 degrees all the way around. If anybody was coming, you knew it. So I'm learning a lot about the Civil War here in Tennessee, and it's got my interest, you know. Never, ever, ever walk in a pile of leaves in Tennessee like this, because there could be copperheads in here. See that? Oh, so you might wanna kinda walk that way. But yeah, you see these leaves loose? Good chance, good chance there's a copper, it could be a copperhead. So, you know. Cause they're very they camouflage in it they like they like those leaves yeah. dawn usually finds the copperheads too don't you they usually find them <laughs> but that's what they like to like to hang out in there you know and it's warm enough those boys they should start moving right oh boy. yeah those those copperheads should start moving yep. yeah these these cannons are definitely new So these are presented by the Knoxville Civil War Roundtable. I like them. They really give you of what it was like. This here must be a three inch ordnance rifle. Oh, so there must have been another, another gun there. And this was the back door to Knoxville so if folks were coming from Maryville or the Great Smoky Mountains in fact I could see the top of Mount LeConte straight ahead they would have came up this way in the, into Knoxville of course the fort was here to protect it from that and uh, back door to Knoxville yeah he shows right here We're just everyday folks, 
just trying to, you know, take in uh, what happened in East Tennessee. No way experts about this. Kind of do it on the fly. And I've, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about how, you know, things were. And still don't know everything. And probably will never know everything. There's folks out there who just, just you know, they can tell you every inch of what everything is. Not me. I'm just enjoying it as I go along. And so this was the underground magazine. So this little hole here is where they put all the ammunition. Is that what magazine means ammunition? Yeah, yeah magazine means ammunition. Means. Just like today's rifles, they have a magazine, right? That holds the, yeah. yeah. So you can see all the way around and in the different cannons. That one there was facing Knoxville and the and the river over that way and they got these little benches up here so if you are coming to town and you want to do a little history or just want to come up here and and relax right mm -hmm. there's benches for that you have a picnic there's nice little picnic areas over there you can uh, beautiful views of city in fact that's what we're gonna do next we're gonna go over and show everybody the beautiful um, the beautiful views of, of downtown Knoxville. But yet again, I really like that they put the cannons up here. That is really cool. Yeah, see this is a three inch ordnance rifle. It must have been chaotic, you know, just you know, just imagine. And it's 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 hard to take in it because it's right now it's so peaceful. It's such a beautiful place. But at one time there was chaos here, there was panic, there was rounds being fired, uh, you know, being being fired at, screaming, I mean, it's just, it's hard to take it all in. And it, and it makes you appreciate those folks out there that have given their lives and their families that had given their loved ones for this great country of ours so that we can go out and make these vlogs and and enjoy life and not have to worry here at home. You know, um, Fort Dickerson, 1863 to 1864. And that's what it looked like. Yeah, we walked all the way around it. We saw the cannons. We saw everything. Here's a little picture of what it would look like. They had wood sides and it's just crazy. Yeah. And that would have been the entrance to it. And this will actually show you how high up on the hill we are. You can see Chapman Highway down there. It's quite the ways down. This was a perfect place to have a fort to look over, over Knoxville. Yeah, so it's faded quite a bit, but that's where we are now. Of course, that's the river and Gay Street and downtown Knoxville. And that's modern day Knoxville. And these nice little tables, you can sit here and just relax and... There's the sun spear. But folks, that's gonna do it for today. Here in Knoxville, Tennessee, 
overlooking the Tennessee River and all of downtown Knoxville. We had a good day, didn't we? Yes, we did. We did. We got our glasses. That was our main objective today. I, was, I look pretty good in my sunglasses. I think you do too. Put in the comments below. I think, yeah, you know, protecting our eyes is our biggest thing. I told him, next pair of glasses we get, I have to have a pair of sunglasses. So. Got those. And I talked to him into getting some, which is probably a huge plus. Because normally I probably wouldn't get them. And we're like this all the time. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's such a beautiful day. 88 degrees in April. First week of April. It's it fun. feels good to wear some shorts and a t-shirt said bundle up and it wear a coat. <laughs> it was great to take in some history. Walking around. There was so much to do, so much to see in this great state. Waterfalls, Great Smoky Mountains. Folks, we love you. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone. If you like this vlog, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> you trying to come up with a new jingle? Yeah. We probably do need to like. We do say we say the same thing all the time. Oh, thanks for watching. And then go to thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up, everyone. <laughs>